For our 2020 Emmy showrunner panel, we're going to start uh, by interviewing Carrie Aaron, uh, creator, uh, one of the co-creators of The Morning Show. Carrie, when you came on board, this team that you have uh, behind the cameras, in front of the cameras, including, of course, uh, Reese and, and Jennifer, yourself, mm -hmm. lots and lots of women. Was, why was that important to you on this particular show? Uh, well, I mean, it's important on 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 all shows, but um, it was it was this is a show about women, um, and it was um, obviously important because of because of that specifically. Um, also, I I was the last person to arrive at the on the team. Um, Mimi and Jen and Reese all preceded me. And what brought you on board uh, uh, when you initially heard about the project and that they were interested in you? What what made you want to commit to it? I thought I had read Brian Stelter's book called Top of the Morning, um, and it's it deals with behind the scenes of the morning news shows. And um, it, he created, or or not created, but he he captured a world that was um, very high stakes and at the same time had a lot of sort of human folly and immaturity in it and that tone really appeals to me um and kind of fits in with my sensibility and i thought that was a great stage to tell stories and then you know i mean jennifer and reese were attached which was you know obviously a dream come true you know to be able to write for for talent like that and um i wanted to I wanted to t to talk about being um, a, a, f a female, high-powered career person and what that what that was like, and look at that and um, you know uh, relationships between two high-powered women. We've come a long way since uh, other media shows over the years. I grew up on, maybe you did too, the Mary Tyler Moore show, sure, uh, set in the world of, of television, yeah. and so many others since then. This is sort of a seat of the pants version, though. Uh, <laughs> high stakes, um, of course, uh, being a, an international company as opposed to just a local company. Yeah. Why does that appeal to you uh, from the sensibility of a producer and a writer, but also to the public? Because this, this show yeah. has also taken off so well. Um, it appeals to me because I think for for most people, myself included, stakes that high, like the money involved, are just seem silly. It's, it's like a, it's sort of like this tremendous backdrop that means a lot. Like we all know financially in the world, it means a lot, and it and it, and it motivates people on every level of our business. You know, uh, how much money things are making you know it's it's every single level is concerned with it and it's a huge factor but for most people it's very it's like a it's like mythology it's like something back here that we don't really deal with personally so the fact that it has that quality to me makes it almost like like you're writing about um greek mythology when the gods would do stupid stuff and and it was funny and you could relate to it um, there's something about taking something that finances run the, run the country and, and kind of letting the people who are in front of that, the, the characters, be so foibled and so ridiculous um, and still very human um, and, and, and appeal to a human part of you. And there's something about that combination of elements that is just really satisfying to me. The characters uh, that Steve Carell plays we know he's done something wrong in the opening episode, but you take take your time over the course of the season to really give all the full details. Mm -hmm. What was behind that thought process? Um, wanting to tell a story of um, how people lie to themselves and how really to look at the whole texture of the the work environment and the society and how people can get to a place where they feel literally like they can do no wrong morally. Um, and I thought that was a very interesting thing to look at as opposed to just in the first two episodes being like, he did this horrible thing. 
I wanted to tell it through that character who really in his own mind had not looked at it that way who had not who did not he really didn't he thought this was all consensual um and part of it is his own narcissism and his own ego and uh, his own being human and part of it is that he was he was in a system that let him do whatever he wanted and never questioned him um so that seemed a very interesting road to go down it's unfortunate you had no real life people to to uh to reference <laughs> as you built that character well i didn't i mean you know i know people bring up matt lauer but it really was not i mean in no way is this like the biopic of matt lauer i mean the 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 similarity ends where it's a morning show host who gets fired for um sexual misconduct um and you know that's because it was a story that was personal to me like i'm telling a story that is that means something to me um about just how complicated things are and how 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 you really have to work to see what's going on in a lot of situations and you have to um you have to kind of take it all in to really assess it um and hopefully you know grow grow from it um but yeah i mean he's he's a character based on a lot of people i've known um much more so than matt lauer who i don't know at all yeah i, I was even referring to not even just you know news people or morning yeah. show people but politicians and entertainers yeah. and anybody yeah. really in the public yeah. eye that yeah. that has that entitlement kind of a, a factor to them yeah I mean, it's real that, 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 you know, these people have power and, um, you know, it goes back to that, to that system where money is everything. And it's the thing everybody's striving for. And these people are generating money and people get afraid to confront them or to even be honest with them. I mean, it's, it goes beyond confronting them. It's sort of, uh, they just sort of quietly play along, you know. Tell us more about your two leading actresses, Jennifer and uh, Reese. What, what's, now that you've worked with them for a whole season, uh, what, yeah. what was that like? And what did, what did they bring to the roles even beyond what you had in mind? Oh, I mean, the, this was very much a collaborative project. And, um, you know, I feel, I feel like we had a great and do have a great collaboration. Um, they bring a lot of passion as do I, we all, you know, we all are very present and, and, um, you know, have an idea of how things should go, how a character is, all of that. So it was, it was, you know, a lot of conversations, a lot of, um, really just exploring. And, um, I think we have, we have a good, we have a good creative dialogue and, and they're lovely to work with. I was so sorry for you and your team uh, with the loss of Lynn Shelton, who directed yeah, for you. Yeah. Tell us more about her. Lynn is just was one of the loveliest human beings I've ever met. Um, and I didn't spend a ton of time with her. You know, I spent a few days on the set with her and prepping a bit. But just, just a, a, a smart, can-do attitude, really talented the actors love her, um, just a beautiful human being. And um, it was really hard to fathom that she was not in the world anymore. She's lovely. Now, you, just like most any other show, had to shut down a few uh, months ago. Yeah. Uh, you had just started production on the second season. Tell yeah. us, if you can, anything about uh, progression on, you know, restarting and what kind of timeline once you do restart, would we see new episodes? That is getting hammered out as we speak. So I, I can't really, I can't really say because I don't have the definitive uh, word on it, but we're, How deep were you into shooting season two? We, uh, we had only just started. We were about a week and a half in. Oh, you just barely yeah. started. Yeah. But it sounds like, I mean, when once you start a season, a lot of the writing has been done and you've hammered out storylines and those sorts of things. Yeah, yes and no. I mean, that that changes a lot. Um, I think on this show too, because there's 
so there's a lot of people working on it you know there's a lot of executive producers so it is it is collaborative you know it is it's um the script process is i would say a little more involved and a little longer than it is on um other shows that i've that i've worked on or run um uh so so we yes we were ahead but it's not like we had the entire season written at that point we had a great we had a lot of it 